This episode of Dr. Football Helmet's Medical Vlog is brought to you by AutoZone. I have a friend, Rick, who works at an AutoZone, and he really wanted me to give his, uh, his workplace a plug. So, Rick, you're welcome. So, if you, if you have a car or something that needs to be fixed, visit my friend Rick at AutoZone. Now, on to the medical vlog! Medical vlog. It's the best I can do, folks. I, I wish I had more um, graphics or um, uh, you know, special effects that, that would impress you, but I don't, so... It's, it's, you're gonna have to just settle for... Uh, old Dr. Football Helmet entertaining you all by himself for now. Anyway, um, welcome to another episode of Dr. Football Helmet's Medical Vlog. You may have noticed I've been off of uh, YouTube for a while. I went on sabbatical. It was a, it was a very enriching time. Um, I, 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 I must uh, say right up top that I was not pleased with how my last uh, uh, video went, or my last batch of videos. I kind of lost my cool um, talking about an issue that I felt was inappropriate for this uh, vlog. I just wanted to make an example out of, if you'll remember, someone that uh, wrote to me about chromosomes, and I don't believe chromosomes, I'm not going to get into it, but it's it, suffice to say, I lost my cool, and um, I, I felt like I needed to step away for a while. But now I'm back, and I'm ready to do some more educating the public with my medical knowledge. And I I must say, I hadn't looked at my Gmail for a while, um, because I wasn't doing this, so I had no reason to look at my, uh, my, my inbox. And when I did, I was pleasantly surprised. There were quite a few messages from you fine people out there in Internet land. And um, one that caught my eye right up top was uh, one from, uh, well, I, I, I have it here. I, it, I, I assume that this isn't this person's real name. It's just a moniker they use for their Gmail. But it is um, soccermom437 at gmail.com. I said Gmail that time. So usually I call it Gmail, but I guess Gmail does sound better. I'll alternate between them. It's kind of fun. It's a fun thing I do. Anyway, Soccer Mom 437. Um, uh, I assume that's not your real name. Maybe it's, um, if, if you are a mom, a woman, maybe your name is Karen or Debbie. I don't want to refer to you as Soccer Mom throughout this uh, video. So I will call you Karen or Debbie. Kebby. Darren. I'll call you, I'll call you Debbie. I'll, let's just call you Debbie for this. I'm sorry if your real name isn't Debbie. You didn't give your real name. You just sent this message. So, um, I'll call you Debbie. Anyway, now that we got that settled, um, the message, it's an interesting one. It's on a topic that, um, I, I haven't uh, touched on yet in this, uh, vlog, uh, series. So, let's do this. Uh, Debbie, or Soccer Mom 437 Debbie, writes, Hello, Dr. Helmet. Thank you for referring to me very formally, Debbie. Um, maybe I should refer to you form. Uh, Debbie, I'm using your first name. That's not very professional of me. I don't know your last name. How about I call you Ms. Debbie? M Ms. I don't know if you're married or not. It's really hard. It's really hard on the internet when you don't know who these people are. I... I I, I when I when I'm dealing with patients in my in my practice, I have them in front of me. I have their information on a uh, on a card, and I can I can say, oh, okay, this person's name is is Debbie Robertson, so I can call her Miss Robin Robertson or Mrs. Robertson if she's married, and I have that on the card. It's I'm sorry, I'm off I'm way off track, but <sighs> Debbie. Soccer Mom 437, I'm just going to imagine that you are, in fact, married, and your last name is Robertson. So I'm going to call you Mrs. Robertson. And here's to you, Mrs. Robertson. I'm sorry, that was inappropriate. I, I'm making 
you have a very serious question you are asking me, and I am, I'm dealing in hypotheticals and singing uh, Garfunkel songs. So, Simon and Garfunkel. Yes. Anyway, okay. So, Debbie, Mrs. Robertson writes. <coughs> Hello, Dr. Helmut. I, I know I addressed, thank you for referring to me formally. I love your vlog. Oh, that's nice. And I have a question about my husband. That's right, she did mention that she has a husband in, in the email. I forgot about that. So it is a Mrs. Uh, I don't, still don't know her last name, but Mrs. That, that, that makes me feel a little better knowing that. He, when he sleeps, he snores quite a bit. Mm. And I was wondering if by wearing a football helmet, it would help his snoring problem. Thank you for whatever information you can give me. Sincerely. And there's no, there's nothing under this. That's why I'm confused. There's just three, three dots. So that's, it's just sincerely, and I, I don't understand why there's no name underneath that. But anyway, so Mrs. Robertson is asking a very, a very important question about uh, an issue that has plagued quite a few of us, I'm sure, in, 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 in life. You, you have a significant other that you uh, sleep next to, and... In the middle of the night, suddenly they're sawing logs. Ho oh, ho! It is ho. Oh, oh. And they're not really, of course, actually sawing logs. That would be very strange. That person's probably a crazy person who actually saws logs in the middle of the night, wakes up, and then just starts sawing away. No. They, they make a noise that sounds like sawing logs, which, of course, is snoring. And Mrs. Robertson's husband does this. And she's wondering. Very appropriately so, if by wearing a football helmet, her husband would uh, stop snoring. And so, Mrs. Robertson, or Debbie, may I call you Debbie? I'm just going to call you Debbie. I've, I've been formal enough. Debbie, I have some troubling news. I'm sorry that the, the, this, this vlog had such a joyous tone for so such a good... I, it's been seven minutes now, and I've been so happy. But I knew this was coming, and I just... I needed to up the happy so that this sadness wouldn't be so hard. But it is hard. Debbie, of all the great things football elements can do for a person, one of the only things I've found it can't do is... Stop snoring. This is hard. I've worn this helmet for nigh upon 30 years. More than 30 years. And in those years, I've never been able to stop snoring. I know this because I've recorded myself in the night for sign scientific purposes, and medical purposes, more than science, of course, and I can't stop. I thought it would help. I assumed everything else, football helmets can do so much, but they can't stop you from snoring. Oh, Debbie, it hurts me to say this to you, but I have to tell you. Football helmets can help you in this situation, but they can help in so many others. So, that's, this is not to say that you shouldn't wear a football helmet. Oh, I would never say that. But it can't help you. It can't help your husband with that specific problem. It can help him from many, uh, prevent many other problems, such as, oh, dying. That's a big one. That's a big one football helmets can stop. They can stop him from dying, from getting injured or sick or flu or whatever. So you should still have him wear a football helmet. And you should wear a football helmet too, Debbie. No, don't forget about yourself. I know it's a very selfless act to ask about a person you love on a medical vlog. 
but you should you should watch out for your own health as well. So I'm sorry it had to it had, I can't help you with that one problem, but there are so many others, and so we should take a little solace in that. Well, this has been a, an emotional roller coaster ride, folks, and I'm I'm very spent from it. So. I will bid you adieu for another week, or I don't know how long. Um, it, it has been more than a week since my last one. So um, just uh, keep wearing your football helmets, and uh, you will never die. Goodbye. <laughs>